question. Lads, I know that when you've been on The X Factor, a lot of people criticise you as that's a quick way into music. Also, just being a boy band, sometimes people criticise you. How does that make you feel? Well, do you know what? I think it's fair to say we'd all agree. To be honest, on a press side of things, we're actually very, very lucky in the respect that a lot of you know, feedback that we get is positive and actually there isn't that many negative stories that we've ever had to read about ourselves so we're very lucky in that yeah, respect, you know. Grateful. Like even for our tour, like, um, <coughs> Guardian, and Guardian yeah. they had a, they wrote a really nice, Guardian um, Leviosa. <laughs> they wrote a really nice article about our show and stuff which is obviously amazing because, you know, you don't expect the, the, the Guardian readers to be interested. You imagine them all sat there smoking a pipe sometimes, don't you? And with the glasses on in Holmes Chapel, that's just Harry. Uh, but on, on, on Twitter, we get an, inc oh, I smoke a pipe. An, in an incredible response on Total Access on Twitter for your songs, because we play them a hell of a lot. So I asked your fans for some questions. Uh, Lauren Tunisi says, if you were stranded on a desert island and you could th uh, pick three th uh, people or things to take with you, what would they be and why? Uh, um, desert island, I... Should we pick one each? Well, I've only got three, three so... Yeah, so we'll just bear Grylls. Yeah, Bear Grylls, standard option. <laughs> An iPod. A boat. Um, and massive speakers to play music through. A, a, pair, of, a pair of armbands. That's four no, things. Super noodles. <laughs> Super noodles. Super yeah. uh, noodles. Trousers that you can poo in. Noodles. <laughs> what was Adrian that? Charles. What was that that you can poo in? Trousers that you can poo in. <laughs> Uh, Carla has tweeted saying, have you ever thought to put some dancers in your performances? Carla's from Spain. I think I speak on behalf of all of us when I say that we aren't a dancing group. We can't dance very well. And we're, I think whenever we try and dance, it looks like a drunk man trying to dance. But actually, <laughs> we're, we're sober. Why don't you get some hot ladies to dance around you? That's what I'd be doing. Now we're talking. Hey, uh, Harry S. Lovers says, if you were given the last minute on earth, what would you do? I've got 60 seconds. 60 seconds? 60 seconds to do something. That's a minute, usually. Uh, let's keep it clean. H hug as many g girls as possible. Yeah. Hi, we're, we're One Direction, Direction on Total Access with Simon Morrikin. It's famous, I think we'd all probably choose maybe... Would it be a woman or would it be a man? So if it was a man, be you could be a cow. Yeah, you could, you could, for example, be a woman like Cheryl Cole, run to the mirror and look at yourself naked. <laughs> or you could be someone like Russell Brand, because he can get away with doing absolutely anything in the press. Can I ask so you could just have a, a day of absolute anarchy. chicken orientalness. Could I ask why you would hug Simon Cowell? That was Liam. Oh, no, I didn't say hug. Oh, if you could hug, I thought it was if you could be a celebrity. Be a, uh, why would you be Simon Cowell for, for the day? Because he's got lots of pennies. Oh, just imagine what you could... Chocolate buttons. It's not all about money, you know, Liam. No, no. He's got a lots powerful of pennies. man. I'd be Richard what, what, Branson. So, so, so you, you're this person for a day and then they go back to being themselves. I imagine you could you... spend all of Simon's money and then just become yourself again. Transfer it to your bank account, now your, your real life, yeah. and then now crack on. You've smashed it. You're cool. Emily says, uh, if you had a pet giraffe with a moustache, what would you call it? Haha, <laughs> yes. Uh, Colin. Farrell. Ringo. Name. Ow, ow. <laughs> um, I... I uh, Muchachos! <laughs> Ed Sheeran. <laughs> uh, Annalise Tomlinson says, What's your most awkward moment you've had on stage yet? My most awkward moment, this is from Liam, was when I split my trousers in front of 9,000 people and the hole was massive. <laughs> and then I still had two more songs to perform. My most awkward moment was during this tour and on our last quick change, I've got braces and I thought I would. I didn't actually have time, I was really struggling for time, so I thought I would pull them up while I was on stage, only to find that I'd stepped into them and they were in between my legs. I want to know, guys, how do you feel when fans like, especially on things like Twitter, threaten to do something silly, say like, because you won't fancy them or you won't, uh, you won't retweet them or you won't follow them back? It's, it's, it's really difficult. Um... Because you want to try and notice everyone, at the, like, but it's so hard. I mean, our phone screens are only small, and like, you just see so many tweets. I tend to do it really randomly and just pick the most ran like random tweets I can find. So there you go. If you want a retweet from One Direction, it sounds like you've got to tweet them with the most random thing you can think of. So have a little brainstorm. He's One Direction on Total Access. I'm Simon Morrikin. This is one of the biggest songs of last year. Pro Green. I want